welcome to the Entertainer Show. My name is Chastity C, and this is Jason Cordova. And we are here with a soulful artist, Jay Tronius. Jay Tronius, tell, tell us a little bit about what you do as an artist. You know, uh, I'm a psychedelic soul singer, you know what I'm saying, coming from the dirty south, and I, I just do music, you know, for the grown and sexy and beyond. Wow. So what part of the south are you from? I grew up in this little town outside of Dallas, Texas, called Sherman, Texas. All right. It gets hot out there. All day. <laughs> Yeah, but so like, where you get all this funk? Like you on that, you know, George Clinton type movement? Like, I mean, you looking kind of civil righteous right now, you know what I mean? Well, you know, I, um, you know, I definitely was a lot more into the whole 90s R&B thing in the beginning, like, you know, like with the Boys to Men and the Jodeci. And then when I came up to Boston, you know, I got introduced to the funk and not just introduced, but I actually got to chill with George Clinton and chill with Boosie Collins you know, all the founders of the funk, man, and, and they blessed me, they knighted me in the funk, so I, I've carried the torch on. I mean, so you living funky. Right. I live for the funk, you know what I'm saying? I am the new age funketeer. All right, so with, with your brand of music, do you just call it funk, or you got some old new thing you well, starting out? you know, I'm always coming up with these crazy names, you know, back when I first started up, it was, you know, it was uh, psychedelic soul music, and uh, then, you know, then I changed it recently to P for E music, so that's what I'm currently calling this P for E music. Are there any albums out? Um, right now, I have a whole bunch, like I've like released a lot of singles over time. I'm currently about to put out a mixtape right now called the EIP Volume 1, and then I'm going to drop an album after that. What does EIP stand for? EIP Volume 1, it stands for Eccentric International Player. Okay. I, I, um, so who like you working with on this album? Are they funky like you? Or are they unfunky? You trying to get I mean, you can't you can't really you know you can't really come over into my world unless you got a little taste of the funk. You know, I, I'm working with a lot of different producers. You know that I've gathered over the past couple of years. Uh, cats from uh, you know from Cali, from Massachusetts, from uh, you know different uh, from Tokyo, different parts of the world. And uh, I, I got some Boston legends on there for this particular project. You know, I got Ed OG involved. I got my partner Rex is going to be on there. Um, who else? I got? Uh, my partner Mark Marin. You know, he does the Motivate Mondays out here in Boston. Shout out to Mark. I know Mark. Shout out to Mark Marin. You know, Gary Crew movement forever. Shit. Yeah, you know, so I, I got a few of my people involved and a lot of, you know, talented producers. Danny McLean. My right hand man that I've been working with for years, you know what I'm saying? He, he's definitely involved, so it's, it's on, it's on. And when you perform, do you perform alone or with a group? How does that work? I mean, you know, it, it, it depends on uh, who's available and what the gig asks for. I can sit down and just do myself a track, just sit down and do uh, me and the piano, or I can have up to like a 13 piece band. So it just depends on what the gig is asking for, what they need. Yeah, I've seen you perform before. You bring like a big presence, you know what I mean? Like, where, where, where does that come from? Like, you, you grew up like family, like performers, or that's just how you get down? No, you know, my, my father, he, he, he's a wild character, you know? My, you know, he, he definitely poured a lot of that into me, you know? Um, my mother, you know, that she was a musician as well. So, you know, I've got the music coming. It's like the music chose me, so. I've been doing this and, and having having this big presence and love for the music since I was a child. So, right. so where's this funkadelic? What, what are you trying to do? You trying to be global with it, or you just trying to just give it to people who appreciate the funk? You know what I mean? Because like the route you're taking ain't what everybody else is doing. So I figured like. I mean, yeah, we got we got to take it worldwide and beyond, man. You know, I, I titled myself. Uh, you know, I am Jay Tronius, the governor of the galaxy. So I can't just limit myself to wanting to be. Boston's main man, you know, like I, I gotta expand. I gotta, I gotta do it everywhere, and even outside of this galaxy, if I can. Now I've seen you perform too, and you put a lot of spirit and heart into what you do. That's what's up. And Thank um, you. you really uplift the crowd. What do you do to prep? before your shows <laughs> other than you know the obvious because i i know uh, you, you gotta meditate and do you know it's crazy i actually do I, um of course you know i like to get my pre-party on with my peoples you know i like to turn up before i turn it up you know there's that aspect of it but yes i do you know i, I do meditate i do pray that that you know that i get used as a, as i like to say as the heaven sent instrument 
-hmm. So that's kind of like my mantra is just use me, let me zone out, you know what I'm saying? So I can give these people an experience, so. And you, you definitely accomplished that. Hey, you bro, what are you talking? Just hypnotize me right now, right? <laughs> well, you know, you know the music thing. You know, I, I like. I'm, I'm kind of like that brother that plays the flute with the cobra. You know what I'm saying? I'm a snake mm -hmm. charmer with it, so you know that's that's how I look at it. Yeah. Where, yeah. Where's like your um, your fashion sense? You know what I mean? Like you got a little bit of everything. You well, got, like, you know, I love the, it by the, the way. Rope chain. You got the psychedelic. Well, well you know, I'm repping. You know, E5. Shouts out to E5 Charlie. You know, they uh they they did this design for me, and this is what I'm gonna base my whole first mixtape off of of course you know i did my research because if when i first looked at this this was like you know some bob marley type right. thing Looks like it. but you know but then i looked into it further and i also realized that the uh the african-american liberation flag is also the same colors so you know I, I think the color of the scheme of it all is just to basically say that i'm going to free people with the music i'm going to help people be their infinite individuals so that's that's part of the so whole that's, game. So that's like the whole message in your music. And you know, like, yeah, you know, I mean, I really, for me, like the music is is, you know, of course, I, I grew up in soul and R and B, so I'm 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 a lover. I can be a fighter, but I'm, right. I'm a lover at you heart. Be a lover. I'm a su I'm a supreme lover. So mm -hmm. it's like I want people to feel the love that I have for other people that they have for me. I want them to experience even a piece of that because so it, it's how's real. The love, you say you're a lover, how's the loving with the ladies? That, I mean, you want some <laughs> other stuff when it goes down like that? Cause, I, I mean, mean, you would have to be. You can't just be Jay Tronius like this and just be, you know, just some basic lover, man. Well, you, you know, I, I'm imaginative, I'm creative. You know, I can leave it at that, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I mean, yeah, so, <laughs> trying to get too much detail. Yeah, 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 yeah. You, you know, the game is to be sold and not told, so. <laughs> mm -hmm. Those, those few select uh, people in this world have ex have experienced my love, and they know what time it is. <laughs> well, hearing your music is enough for me. All right, now. Mm -hmm. you, but how do you feel like um people are responding to you? Because like I said, you got like a different style than everybody else. Like, you know, first time I seen you, I didn't know what you was bringing. Like, I just seen you, just walked in, I was like, this dude's on some other stuff already, you know what I mean? Yeah, I think, I think it's good because it's a shock factor, you know. Um, People don't know what to expect until I do my thing. And when people, and I've gotten a very good response from a lot of different people, a lot of different colors, shapes, and sizes when they actually hear what I do. So like, I've been very lucky to get very good responses and, and I think it's just expanding, expanding as time goes on, for sure. You should expect that. Ain't, ain't nothing lucky about that. Like you, you really are good at what you do. I appreciate you that. You lifted my soul the Word. first time I heard you sing. Word up, word up. And you lifted mine when I walked in the building, too. Oh. <laughs> 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 you so like this, too. You know what I mean? So, like, you got, like, a date when the mixtape's coming out where we could check you out, you know what I mean? Well, right now, I don't have, I haven't, like, put, an, like, an expected date, but I am in the process of getting it mastered and getting the artwork together. Right. You know, once I get more idea of when that's going to be done, I can put out a date. Uh, in the meanwhile, you know, over the past couple of years, I've, I've just been doing a lot of recording. So you could check out a good chunk of what's going to be on the mixtape on, like, my website. So I can go to Reverb Nation. Uh, you know, dot com slash J Tronius and see about, you know, there, there's about six of the jams that's going to be on there. I got some music videos out already, and uh, I'm going to just keep dropping a few more music videos and then just drop this mixtape and it's going to be on and popping. What are some of the venues that you have performed at? Whew. I mean, I, I've been in, I've been in the New England area for years, so like, I, I performed anywhere from you know, where we met, you know, in Cambridge, Touch It Tuesdays with True Era in the building. You know, Shit. I've mm -hmm. I've uh I performed in the garden. I performed all throughout New England, New York City, Texas, Canada. Wow. You know, I, I've been blessed to really go around a lot of different places. But yeah, Boston, I I've been all through here. You know, I, I actually just performed around the corner a few months ago at Precincts right here in Somerville. So yeah, a little bit of here, there, and everywhere from small to big, so. Right. So out of all the singles you have, which one of the songs get the most hype? Right now, Thick Thighs. Thick Thighs? Thick Thighs is definitely the most played on online and, and the most asked about jam. And then uh, right behind that is one called uh, Fuck Me For Loving You. 
Okay. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah, like, so if I went on, you know, Jay Tronius, I'm looking you up, like, what would be, like, if you could just tell people to check out one song that sums up who you are as an artist? I know you go all over the place, but, like, if they just had to pick one song, I mean, if you could, if you could sum it down to one, which one would you just want people to listen to? I mean, there's different angles. I don't think I could really pick one song that would explain my whole being or, you know, what I'm about and what I'm trying to bring. So, like, right now, we can say like Thick Thighs, you know, that express, expresses the sensual and sexual side of me and the funk side. But if you want to really hear how I perceive life, how the governor of the galaxy feels about the earth, you go to So Cool. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's kind of like my 2013 version of what's going on. Oh, all right. How I perceive what's popping right now with urban with the urban society and cultures, which I grew up through, so. All right, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling your vibe. I'm feeling your waves. Yeah, yeah, your chakras <laughs> right now. You know what I mean? Yeah, <laughs> man. Yeah, yeah, man. When is the next show? The next show is uh, the 20th, July 20th at Midway Cafe in JP. And then the 21st, I'll be uh, at the Indicata State. Mm -hmm. I'll be playing Dedham. I'll be playing for the Provider Fashion Gala. Oh. Yeah, I heard of them. I Yo, heard of them. Jay Tronius, we coming to a close almost. It was Homer. nice meeting you, but what I want you to do, I want you to look right there and tell every, right here, and tell everybody where they can find you, where your Twitter, anything you got, if you got, you know what I mean, mail carriers, whatever you got. Ladies and gents, I am Jay Tronius, AKA the governor of the galaxy. If you'd like to check my music out, please go to ReverbNation.com slash Jay Tronius. Go to SoundCloud.com slash Jay Tronius. Go to Killatron.Bandcamp.com that's the mixtape I did with my partner KLK Beats out in Tokyo. At J Tronius is my Twitter, you know. And if you forget all that, just go, just go Google J Tronius. There is no other J Tronius, so you never will know. Be another J Tronius. And never will. It might be. I might have a little J Tronius Junior. <laughs> we don't know. You know what I'm saying? But otherwise, you know, yeah, just get at me, and I'll get back at you if it's cool enough. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. All right. Well, I want to thank everybody tonight for watching the um, entertaining show. My name, once again, is Jason Cordova. And I'm Chastity C. Well, our guest today is Jay Tronius, but don't tune out yet because he's going to come. He's going to bless our stage with a couple of his tracks, so stay tuned. <laughs>